So quite often, people will send me car adverts and they'll ask me, is this car worth buying? And a lot of the time, the answer is no. They'll send me links to cars that are listed well below the market value, especially Facebook cars. And what they'll tend to send me are cars that have the number plates hidden. And there isn't really a good reason to hide the number plate on a car if you're selling it. It's usually not a good sign. I'm not saying that some people might have good reasons or think that they have good reasons to hide the number plate, but the majority of the time it's not it's not a good sign. So in the past I've been sent these listings with the number plates hidden. I've messaged the seller and asked for the registration and it's turned out to be cat D or cat C and I've asked them and I've said well why haven't you declared it on the listing and they say that they don't have to. Well as far as I'm aware legally if a car is cat D or C you have to declare it I would always declare it and if I was to sell a car on eBay I would put it in the title because people deserve to know if there's a misleading price if a car is the cheapest advertised then people should know why immediately. So just to clarify my confusion private sellers supposedly do not need to declare that a car has been written off however when questioned they must give up that information. So should you buy a car from a private seller and then later on find out that it has been previously written off you do have a case for a claim but the best thing to do of course is avoid these private sellers on Facebook that hide the number plates in the first place and if the logbook is missing there will be a reason for that so on the logbook it will say whether a car has been written off. So these cars that have the logbook missing are very very likely to be written off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a way to check if your car or a car that you're looking at buying is HPI clear and this check is completely free. So what we need to do is we need to go on to AutoTrader click on sell your car, create your advert. Now this is a car that I owned a few years ago. I don't usually buy cat cars, but this one I knew locally and I was 100% certain that the, the damage wasn't bad. So I've typed in the range, I've typed in the mileage, which is irrelevant for this purpose and when we click through to the next step we immediately get cat C shown. Now I much prefer to do this on the app which I will also show. Let's have a quick look at another car that is cat. So we've got a 2013 M135 with 50k miles at less than £13,000. Suspiciously low price for a 50k car. Notice no mention of the cat status in the title, which is something that I would always do. And here we see previously categorised as a cat D. So take the reg. BMW M135 and we've got Cat D. So if you should find yourself looking at a car that's suspiciously cheap and you want a free HPI check rather than paying the 10, 20 pounds that they try to charge, it's obviously it's not a comprehensive history of the car. If you are going to go buy a car, especially if it's worth more than a thousand pounds, 
I would always recommend getting a full check and paying for that. But for the purpose of ruling out suspiciously cheap cars on Facebook and eBay, this is an easy method to just check the cat status of the car. I'd just like to add quickly, this is a car that I previously owned, which I know for certain was Cat C. It doesn't show as cat at all on Auto Trader, and I believe this is because a private plate has been put on the car. So do bear that in mind. Always, always, always check the logbook before getting your money out. If the logbook isn't there, then ask yourself why. Why wouldn't the seller want to pay £25 in order to have the logbook with the car? If you are desperate for that particular car, ask the seller to get the logbook in their name and check it before buying the car. So I hope this helps. If it does, then please do subscribe to my channel for more useful videos. Thanks for watching.